ClearCom's FreeSpeak 2 and FreeSpeak Edge systems are designed to seamlessly connect with the Arcadia Central Station, allowing the adaptability of utilizing E1, IPT, and Edge 5 GHz transceivers. Let's take a look at the differences and how best to integrate them. There are three base types of belt packs, each offering benefits for your clients. The BP-19 operating at 1.9 GHz, BP-24 at 2.4, and the FreeSpeak Edge BP-50 at 5 GHz. We'll begin with the BP-19, which utilizes both legacy analog E1 transceivers and the IP-19 IPT transceiver. E1 transceivers must be hardwired and run directly to Arcadia's SPL TCDR ports, while IPT transceivers connect to an appropriate switch. E1 transceivers support up to five 1.9 GHz belt packs with a total of 25 per decked space, while the IPT supports a maximum of 10 belt packs with no more than 50 per deck space. Best practices dictate not utilizing both the E1 TCVR19 and the IP19 IPT transceivers at the same time. Next on our list is the BP24, easily identifiable by its unique blue front face. Operating at 2.4 GHz, the BP24 connects exclusively to the E1 2.4 transceivers, which are differentiated by the front badge. The TCVR24 must also connect via home run and supports up to 25 per deck space. ClearCom's FreeSpeak Edge BP50 belt pack offers 5 GHz frequency range and wirelessly connects with the FSE TCVR50 digital transceiver. This transceiver includes dual antenna, connects via an appropriate switch, and offers a maximum of 40 belt packs when integrating with Arcadia. When deploying FreeSpeak 2, Edge, and Arcadia, integrators must consider current capabilities. A single Arcadia Central Station supports a maximum of 40 total belt packs, 10 E1 or IPT transceivers, and 16 Edge transceivers. Arcadia is versatile, allowing integrators to combine and distribute the 40 total belt pack allocation across FreeSpeak 1.9, 2.4, and 5 GHz varieties. To learn more and locate your local ClearCom representative, visit ClearCom.com.